Victor Janice, so I am back with two settlement offers. If you have purchased Tylenol within the past five years, infants Tylenol to be exact, you may be entitled to $15. So on there, Johnson & Johnson has stated that it was for infants, but in fact, it was actually children's Tylenol. Now, if you do not have a receipt, it is okay. You may be able to claim up to seven bottles without a receipt with the maximum of $15. Now, you must have purchased it between October 3rd, 2014 and January 6th of 2020, and it must be submitted by April 3rd. So in the description, box I will go ahead and have the website as well for you to fill it out I'm just showing you the information here it does have where you can check if it is a non US address as well so this is just a way guys like I don't know if you're aware of it a lot of people said that they like my last settlement video so I wanted to go ahead and do another one for you so with this one if you have purchased it it does have where you can specify if they were one ounce bottles or two ounce bottles. Now, of course, if you have your receipt, you can claim unlimited amount. So if you do not have a receipt, remember you can claim up to seven bottles and get $15 back, okay? So it must be done, guys, by April, so no worries. Now, the next deal that I'm going to show you actually needs to be done a little bit quicker, and that is by January 20th. This is the Spectracide um, settlement that they have going on. If you have a home, more than likely you probably use this on the weeds. Now, it was accused of being concentrated and it was not, okay? So on there, if you want to claim this one, you must submit your claim by January 20th, which is in seven days, guys. I will definitely go ahead and have the form below. Now with this one, you can get up to a maximum of $25, which is $6.25, and you can see the date, September 21st, 2013 through November 1st, 2019, you must have purchased it. Now with this actual form, it's a little bit different, meaning they want to know exactly where you purchase the equipment or the actual solution from. So on there, it's gonna ask, of course, like for your name, your email address, you put um, your regular home address in there. But when you get to the very bottom, it is going to ask you like, did you purchase it a, at Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever place that you may have purchased it. Um, it just wants to know where did you buy the product from and it wants to know their address. So if you're not sure of the address of the place that you purchased it, this is a good time to go use that good old friend, Google. OK, so you will go ahead and Google the information and it'll ask you a few questions on there, like how many bottles. Once again, I will link all this information in the description box down below so you can read a little bit over as well. So you have a chance to possibly make $40. Now, of course, it is illegal to actually do a settlement if you did not qualify for it or to fill out information that you have not purchased. And on there, it does give you the information. So it says, see, for each product that you're claimed, give one name of the type of spectricide that you purchased. So was it a weed eater? What was it? Um, and then on top of that, it wants to know where did you have it. Now with this one, you can decide how you want your payment back to you. Do you want it back as an Amazon? You can have it actually as a check and or they have the PayPal option as well. So this one gives you a few options to get your money back, which Amazon is pretty cool. But nonetheless, this is the gist of the video. Check the description box below. Let me know exactly what you think. Do you like videos like this with the settlement? I will keep this one up for a little bit, um, but just let me know in the comments below. So thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm still on the road to 10K, so please share with your fan friends. Please like, comment, subscribe, and you already know, I will talk to you later. Until the next video, bye.